Hello dear students, in this online lecture we discuss topic of braking systems. This is very important system required for the vehicle. Braking system, braking system is necessary in automobile for stop the vehicle. Brakes are applied on the wheels to stop or to slow down the vehicles. The main purpose of braking system is to stop the vehicle or to slow down the vehicles. Why? What is the need of vehicle for the braking systems? Braking system Q Jaruri hai because of to stop the moving vehicle, to accelerate the moving vehicle, for stable parking of vehicle either on flat surface or slope there is a manual brake is provided for the vehicle as precaution for the accident to prevent the vehicle for any damage due to the road conditions brake system is designed to slow and halt the motion of vehicle to do this various components within the brake system must convert vehicle moving into heat because of to stop the vehicle there is a different components required and and to stopping the vehicle maybe the heat is generated this is done by using friction friction is resistance to movement exerted by two object on each other brake is device for slowing or stopping the moving vehicle typically by applying pressure there are two main function slow down or to stop the vehicle in shortest possible time at the time of need and second to control the speed of vehicle at turns also at the time of driving down on the hill slope there are various classification of uh, braking systems brakes are used for the automobile drum brake disc brake air brake hydraulic brake hand brake uh, drum brake this is uh, why it is called as a drum brake the shape of this uh, uh, is look this diagram there is the drum shape the drums are uh, which is fitted to the wheels the drum brakes is a brake that uh, uses the friction causes by a set of shoes pads that presses outward against the rotating cylinder shape part is called as a drum brake the drum brake usually means a brake in which shoes presses on inner surface of the drum when the shoe press on a outside the drum it is usually called as a clasp brake look this diagram there are brake liners are provided pistons are provided small pistons are there whenever the force is applied by the driver on pedal the hydraulic oil is passing through this uh, lines and that piston will be operated there are major parts of these brakes, brake drum, brake shoe, brake cylinder, return or retracting spring, self adjuster, these are the main parts, brake drum, it is a round cast housing which is used to stop the vehicle with the help of brake shoe. The drum brakes are bolted to the hub of the wheel, it rotates with the hub. This drum is fitted to the hub of the wheel and it is rotates with hub. Brake shoe, it is the frictional part of brake drum, without working of the brake is not possible. The brake shoe has a brake lining and its outer curve. It is brake lining which makes contact with the brake drum during the stopping of the vehicle. It is two types, primary brake shoe and secondary brake shoe. The shoe having large lining material is called as a prime, primary uh, braking shoe and secondary having small lining material look this brake shoes 
primary and secondary brake shoes fill cylinder uh, it is usual to force the brake shoe outward to apply the brake the wheel cylinder is connected to the master cylinder it contains piston uh, moves outward when piston is applied and the force of the brake shoes towards inner surface of the brake drum this is wheel cylinder so whenever the pedal is operated by the driver the, the oil high pressure oil is supplied uh, to the uh, each drum of the wheel cylinder and inside this wheel cylinder there is a piston is fitted inside the wheel cylinder that may be operated by applying the pressure of fluid hydraulic oil a returning and retracting spring it is usually